a student taking a statistics class found that her average test grade was 83% with a standard deviation of 4%. Which of the following is the best interpretation of this result? So give yourself about a minute for this problem. You know, these types of questions, these are low hanging fruit, but only if you understand the uh, underlying principle here. So pause the video, give it a shot, and then press play when you're ready. All right, so the answer to this question will be A. And the reason that the answer is A, well, we need to take a step back and understand what standard deviation is. So standard deviation, um, and I'm gonna explain it here, but I can explain it much better in our GK Math Bootcamp course. So if you're in there, which a lot of you already are, make sure to go into module uh, five, which is competency four, and it'll be section 4.4. So watch that video there, all right? Do yourself that favor. But pretty much, uh, standard deviation is how far spread out a number is from the mean, all right? So standard deviation is how far your data spreads from the mean. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, table over here, this chart, because this is a good explanation of, of what's going on. So over here, I'm gonna use uh, purple. Over here, this is your mean, the zero. This is, you know, ground zero. We can think about it that way. And this is your mean, okay? This is your mean. And notice that your data spreads right and left from that central value. So what we need to take a look at over here is, you know, these notes, these are great to look at. 68% of your data will fall within one standard deviation of the mean. So if your standard deviation here is 4%, mean is 83%. So we can basically say that so my 83% score is right here. So this is the grade, okay? I'm gonna write grade over here because I know the percentages might get confusing, you know, if we're talking about percents over here and percents over there. So I wanna just, you know, double check that we're not getting confused with the different percents. But this is the grade, the 83% grade. And so if we go one standard deviation up or 4% up, well then this would be 87%. And then over here, if we go down one standard deviation, this would be 79%. But collectively, so this is one standard deviation, one down, one up. So 68% of my data, or 34 plus 34, 68% of my data is in this section right there. Okay? So when you take a look, most of her test grades lie between 79 and 87%. Yep, that would be true because most of your data does lie within one standard deviation of the mean. So that would make it correct. When you take a look at uh, B, her lowest test grade was 79%. That's not true because the standard deviation keeps going down to 75%, then to 71% over here. So no, that wouldn't be her lowest grade. Her highest grade was a 91. Again, false because as we keep going up with standard deviations, we've got a 91 over here two standard deviations up, and three standard deviations up, a 95%. And even so, these are not the lowest and highest grades. These are simply three standard deviations. There are outliers. Outliers are you know things that go beyond three standard deviations. So even with that said, you can't say anything about her highest and lowest grade. Would not happen. Uh, her median test grade was 83%. No, that's not true either. Uh, that would only be true if, well, they told us that the median was 83 or if we were given all the test scores so that we could compute it ourselves. So B, C, and D automatically wrong. Um, you can always cross out answers that indicate highest and lowest when it comes to standard deviation because standard deviation won't tell you the highest or lowest. It'll just tell you where most of your data is. So that was a long explanation, I know, but I did my best given you know what we're doing here. But if you would like to learn more about standard deviation, that way this doesn't become an issue for you. Hey, check out our bootcamp course. You have to, you have to, you have to, all right? So check that thing out and we'll see you in the next video.